Taking a quiz on Moodle. Before taking a quiz, consider the following tips. First, log out and log back in. Moodle has a time limit to have you logged in. It is best before taking a quiz that you reset that time limit. Second, only take the quiz when you are not going to be interrupted. Third, make sure that your cookies are set or use Firefox. Don't open unnecessary windows. Fifth, only take your quiz in the same window or your answers may not be saved. If you get logged out out of Moodle accidentally, immediately contact your teacher with a Moodle message explaining and indicating what happened with detail. If you qualify for the SPS extra time on tests, you must do the choice activity on Moodle. Register with the SPS and make sure that the SPS has told the teacher that extra time is needed. If the teacher does not know how to add time for the quiz for you, contact the Student Moodle Help Desk at 213-763-3988. How to take a Moodle quiz. The first step, you need to go to the course where you're taking the quiz. You'll find it under My Courses on the left side. Find the class that you're taking. All the quizzes have an icon that looks like this. However, when the class is too big, you can also find it under the activities where it says quizzes. After that, it will show you a list with the quizzes. Click on the name of the quiz that you want to take. Read the instructions and click on attempt quiz now. If it's the only attempt, it's going to ask you for a confirmation. Answer the question by clicking in the right answer. If you want to leave a question to answer it later, you can click on the flag next to it. Notice that on the top left corner, it shows you in which page you have flagged answers. Every time that you click to go to the next page, Moodle saves your answers. Before your final submission, Moodle will show you the questions that you flagged so that you can make sure to have all your questions answered. By clicking on the flag, Moodle will take you to the question that you marked. Review the quiz and do not forget to do the final submission on your questions or they will not be graded.